Hello Gemini and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of September 23rd through the 29th. Oh, you're going to have to speak up this week. Okay, Gemini. I do see fun, good energy. You can get anything done this week. Things should be working out your way. Um, you have the magic touch. I really do like that energy. Tapping into all your talents, uh, all the skills you need. You got you you got it for some things. That's really came through. I do see the focus is on you. Um, it's like you're stepping up your game somehow. You're not letting people take advantage of you. You're more. You're going to be more in your element and working on yourself. Some of you are just working on yourself. I do see um, there's a lot of focus on working. Working hard, hard work, perseverance will pay off. Uh, putting a lot of focus on uh, some kind of work. For some of you, you're working on yourself. You're really working on yourself somehow. Whatever it is, either it's something you want or on yourself, yourself. Okay? There's going to be some changes. There could be some sudden changes. Uh, watch that someone does not get you angry. I see that too. Uh, there could be a breakthrough for some of you. And this is an offer or a new financial beginning coming through as well, okay? But definitely there's going to be some kind of breakthrough from the hard work for some of you. And it's like, wow, new beginnings. New beginnings in finances. New beginnings in some certain areas in your life. Some, um, it, It's good energy, okay? Some are seeing that energy as well. So sudden changes may happen as, uh, and occur too. I do see travel. Um, a lot of thoughts of travel too. For some of you, could be traveling. I do see messages that are going to be very important. Some of you could be texting back and forth a lot this week. Social media could be very strongly indicated here when I see this energy too. This is good news coming in too. So it's very, very good energy. It's usually um, very positive for most of you. Don't hold on to energy too much, okay? Do watch your spending. Uh, for some of you are making now, putting in money where you're in your finances where it counts. Okay, so that is good. It's kind, kind of building upon that foundation. There is a fire sign and oh, okay. You know, I did Aries and for some reason Gemini showed up a lot. Um, maybe you should watch the Aries video. Okay, if you have a connection to an Aries because here I'm seeing an, uh, a fire sign more like an Aries again. Um, if it's not an Aries, it could be a Sagittarius or it could be a, um, Leo or someone who exhibits those energies, one or the other, but that's showing up very strongly here. This person could inspire you or is coming in. It's just coming in focus, very creative energy. You are attracting a lot. There's a charming edge to you. I am seeing of, uh, your creative side, your burning desires coming through and playful energy too. Um, you need to be more carefree if you're not, okay? There's very a lot of confidence. I do see matters of the heart coming in strongly. Um, this is great creative energy. Maybe the performing arts are coming through here. I see something like dancing is coming in. Do something that you're passionate and that you love, okay? Fall in love with it, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. And if, if you're looking for love, some of you, it's like go out to um, go out, OK, go out and visit a particular date spot or I don't know, join a dating app, uh, you know, um, a website or something like that. Do it again if you have to. I don't know. I'm seeing that. Put it into your schedule somehow. Put fun, pleasure and all that in your schedule. I'm seeing that. Um, give in to some of those urges, okay? Life is about having fun and fulfilling our desires as well, okay? You're going to be uh, fulfilled more emotionally than if you do so, okay? So that's one thing I'm seeing. So it's, it's a clearing and purging here. It's a constant like work on, a work in progress here. I do see communications are coming in very strongly and I do see also partnerships. You need to open up your deepest feelings, okay, and express yourself to someone who's um, either a friend or a potential lover or something like that. You're going to want to put all the cards on the table. It's like, don't hold back. That's the best um, I can say for this, okay? On the plate, you're feeling trapped. You need to kind of release some things, okay? Don't hold back too much, Okay, I'm seeing that energy. Communications is coming in very strongly here. I also see um, very spiritual energies. You could get some, you know, pay attention to um, synchronicities, messages, you know, sp uh, spiritual numbers, maybe your dreams. Maybe someone just says something out of the blue 
because that could be spirit talking through people. So I'm seeing that. Some of you may be more interested in um, readings, um, things like that. It's like you're looking for answers, seeking some answers. It's like a lot of knowledge uh, is, is gained. I like that. And more improved communications. You need to also communicate very clearly because this here is beautiful. But here it's like saying, hmm, communicate very clearly. Okay, so I'm seeing that. Getting more spiritual clarity. A lot more wisdom is coming through. You're going to be getting the answers you need. You just need to, it, it just takes a little bit of time. You're going kind of through a spiral from what I feel here, okay? You're going through this spiral, long and winding little road, okay? So there is um, one step to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, okay? So just building upon that and knowledge is going to be very, very important. So maybe a journey or whatever ahead is not the easiest. It will bring you something new. We see something like that. Um, also, there's it, there's responsibility with something that's little. That could be a child. That could be a business. That could be something that's small. Um, I do see you will get some answers, but it takes time. It's like a spiral. It's like the journey ahead is a little bit like, you know, it's kind of spirals and spirals and spirals. That's the feeling I'm getting here. And nothing's easy, okay? Uh, all the people that became successful in this world are the ones that just kept going, going on. They had hits and they got up. And they had hits and then they got up. And they got hits and they got up. So you got to keep going through that spiral. And then you're going to get to where you want to be. But you got to keep going is what I'm seeing here. It's a work in progress, so to speak. But it's positive. If you don't want to go down that road, then, you know, you give up. Then you can't expect anything good in life. Just expect the mundane and hope for the best. <laughs> anyway, Gemini, that was your reading for the week of September 23rd to the 29th. I did post the monthly October discounted readings from every month. I'll do that from the 20th about to the 23rd. Limit time only. On my website, but they will be done by the end of the month. I just needed a count because I get a lot of readings and those are time readings and I want to know how many I need to do. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll catch you back next week for your next coffee cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.